Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I, I was actually just getting ready to go over there and put some music on and then I remembered, ooh, right, I've had a little bit of a catastrophic technology week in that my hair dryer exploded. What is today? Today is a uh, Thursday. Um, my hair dryer exploded when I was getting ready to go over to Christmas Eve. Exploded. Like, I think you guys have seen most of the time when I'm shooting my vlogs, like this is, this is most of my day. Most of my days are what Amy Bradley Hull, my dear friend, would, would call a no shampoo day, right? <laughs> and I don't even have hair that really requires a lot of work. Uh, I don't curl it or do anything. I pretty much just dry it and run a straight iron through it just to chisel out the ends or whatever. But it just, sometimes I just don't want to spend that time. Like if I know I'm just going to be here in my home office working, why would I want to go through the hassle of drying my hair? I can't stand, like I'm so impatient just sitting there drying my hair is, is such, I just don't like it. So if I don't have to go through that process, I'm not going to. That's why it's a beautiful thing to have baseball caps because you know, you can go to the gym, you can do your work on it. Let's just be honest. Let's call it like it is, people. Don't act like you get up and style your hair every day. If you do, I just want to know what, uh, seriously, like how you live your life. Um, this is at Reebok Top. I'll get back to that in a minute. Anyway, so what was I? Oh, yeah, so I was getting ready for um, Christmas Eve dinner, and I go plug the hair dryer in, you know, and I push my hair over, and I start, and I hear this rattling, like this snap, crackle, pop in my hair dryer and I'm like what the heck <laughs> look there's a fire inside my hair dryer seriously <laughs> so my hair dryer breaks and then all last week my my home phone because yes I use a regular phone line I like a regular phone line instead of this bad boy to talk on because when I try to talk on my cell phone my iPhone whatever and I'm in here people are like I'm losing you I'm losing you so I have to go walk out there I can't stand that I like a real phone for business um, but all last week my home phone kept telling me like you know when you pick up the phone and it goes da, 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 to tell you you have a voicemail it kept telling me I had a voicemail and I didn't have a voicemail and it would really piss me off so that was all week then the hair dryer and then my iPod died so my lovely, I don't even know, I, I bought like, if I'm going to buy technology, I don't want to buy it every six months. I want to buy it and buy the best, best that you can, invest in the best. That's a little tagline. And then you don't have to keep rebuying it. So I probably bought that one. I bought that one a long time ago. But lately when I've been taking it to the gym, um, quite often like I tuck it in, I tuck it into the bra. Um, because then I have the headsets. Oh, and then the earbuds. I had those earbuds and one of the little covers for the earbud off of one of them. This was last Wednesday, I remember because it was leg day, the day that I got so pissed off. <clears throat> one of the little earbuds came off. So you guys know, nothing sticks in my ears. Although, that said, maybe you should hold on. Hold on. Because I just remembered that I was just sent something else. Maybe that's why we're going to have to try this out. But you guys know, nothing sticks in my ears. This is my little basket of things that I need to address. <sighs> we're getting better, and that's, that's going to be part of, part of the theme of today's blog, video, excuse me, is, well, actually, my theme does not make sense with what I was just saying. My theme is comparison. We'll talk about that in a second. But the kind folks at Reebok... I feel like I'm on the prices right. The kind folks at Reebok sent uh, this to us and some of my fellow influential bloggers. So, in that one of the little things came off of my earbuds, I'm gonna try this out. Here's the thing, I'm gonna ask you guys, maybe leave in the comments below. I, I really think, and bear with me, I think you know I have so many issues, so many hang-ups that probably most people don't worry about. One of the things is with my iPhone. I, I actually never use just the iPhone like this. Okay, so I have a Mophie, which is a, a charger that gives it an extra, I think, six to eight hours of battery time. Um, I don't like just holding this little thin thing. Maybe it's because when I bought the first iPhone I got, um, 
I, my friend told me, she's like, you're going to want to get a Mophie, you're going to want to get a battery pack. So I've always used it with the battery pack, so I'm not used to ever using it like this. It feels funny. Um, I cannot stand, see how it's right there, full charge? I, I can't stand it when devices are not charged. Like, I freak out. If it starts to go down to 96%, ask Amy Burford, she'll tell you. Freaks me out, okay? So, um... One of the other things is I also like when I buy my technology, when I buy my laptops, when I buy whatever. I don't, this goes back to like probably 10 years ago, I don't like to clog up my hard drive, so I'm always about putting things in the cloud and external hard drives so that you don't clog up the hard drives. And so I do not have my music on here. I have a separate iPod for music. I just, maybe it's because the first little iPod thing I got was the clippy one. So my music was always separate from my phone. I didn't get the iPhone till later. And, and I'm curious, do you guys, like, I don't know. I, I just can't, I, I don't even, I'm going to have to do a poll on my, on my blog about this. If people, so would you just take this? Should I not get an iPod, a separate iPod? I'm just used to a separate iPod. So that, like, would I then put this in there in my iHome thing to listen to the music? Like, I need... What if people text me and stuff? I don't like that. I like my phone separate. So I need to get another iPod. I'm also getting a new computer, which I'm very excited about. Desktop. My, so my laptop is cool, but I'm getting a new computer because this one's on its last legs. And um, so I will try these out. And the reason I brought up the iPhone is that this says it's made for iPhone, iPod, iPad. Coolness. So I will let you know if these are going to fit. Nothing fits in my ears. Um, so yeah, we've had a bad kind of technology week. What's this? Oh, this was, a, I think, a clout perk that was sent to me. Actually, I kind of have a lot of head earphone things in here now that I'm seeing this that I should talk about. Um, this was from clout. I think this is actually a, um, a, I think this is a whole player. Like, this is the, the new version of Sony Walkman. So I have to see... We'll open that up and, and I'll do a separate review on that to let you know. I think, yeah, this was a clout perk. Um, I've only gotten two clout perks. One of them was a poster of Jim Carrey with some penguins. Because I have kids, right? Anyway. And then I was also sent these, which I'm not going to lie, I don't understand how this works yet, but I'm sure that I just haven't looked at the directions. These are ear hooks. I think what these are, when I got these, I'm not going to lie, they sent these to me, I'm like, what the? Um, but I guess what you do is you add these, you add these to your existing, so like I could, I could use these with the, the earbuds that I had where the thing fell off, and you add this on top. So they sent all these different colors and whatnot, but not a lot of stuff fits in my ears. You guys know that the only thing so far that would fit in my ears and stay in of all this time was was earbuds. I had some other ones like Motorola that I tried and it, it fit in my ears but it hurt. Like by the end of the day it hurt. Um, okay, so we're already eight minutes in. I might be doing a separate video on the comparison thing because it looks like there's a lot of things on my counter here that I have to tell you about. Um, Dr. Mike has been talking to me, um, you know, before we, before he wrote out my diet program for me, uh, one of the things that he had talked to me about, and Valerie Waters talked to me about, was really how important sleep is. Um, and he sent me this, which I <laughs> actually have charging in the other room right now. Um, and I'm going to sync it with my phone because it's yet another thing that I have said in here, like, oh, I've got to get around to it, I've got to do this. But apparently what this is, is for people that have issues sleeping, like myself, um, you, you put this, can you see this? So you put this thing on, and it's going to monitor your sleep for you to tell you what your issues are. Like, oh, Kelly, you've been dreaming you had a huge Jackman a lot. Um, see this? But everyone, it's, it's really been, I, I, you guys know I've talked about this a lot. I have heard from so many people, experts, how important sleep is. Actually, it was interesting because when I first met Joe Dowdell, and he was speaking at fitness, the fitness magazine event in New York, someone raised their hand and said, you know, what's the, the number or in order of appearance, in order of importance, I'm sorry, what are the number one things you recommend for women 
looking to lose weight. And he didn't say, you know, I think most people expect him to say, do a lot of cardio. But he said, I think if I'm correct, he said sleep was number one. Make sure you get, it was, so like the top four were sleep, you know, lower your stress, strength training, uh, diet, and then it was cardio, and then it was, you know, other things, if I'm correct. But most importantly was stress and sleep. And when I was talking to Val earlier in the year and she was, you know, meeting with me, she's like, Kelly, you're just, you know, your back hurts, you're not sleeping right, you're stressed, your cortisol levels are through the roof, you have to find a way to sleep, blah, 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 blah. So I think you guys have known that one of the reasons I've been so upset or frustrated with my schedule is that I'd be working so late in my office. Notice how I point as if you guys know where my office is. I'd be working so late in my office, I'd be working till 10, 11 o'clock at night, and then I'd come out of there, I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. So then I'd want to like wind down. <clears throat> it's 10.30 at night. So I'd go to, to watch some crime show on television, which in and of itself is a really stupid idea to be watching like criminal minds at 10.30 at night. And they're like, you know, some guy sawing somebody in half. <laughs> and I'm watching it right before bed like, oh, that's good stuff. Um, yeah, so I'd come out here, and then I'm watching TV till 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, the thing is, is of course, and then I'm taking Excedrin PM because I, I can't, at this moment, still having trouble falling asleep on my own. The brain waves are just going too fast. So this is a focus, people. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm in here, and I'm like, my mind's going a mile a minute. I'm taking Excedrin PM. I'm starting to fall asleep. I head into my room at 1 o'clock in the morning. This is what I've done in the past. But I'm transitioning out of it, and thank God. Um, you know, going into my bedroom at, at 1 o'clock at night, and because I know how important it's always been for me to get the right amount of sleep, and because I've got Dr. Mike and Joe and Valerie and everybody telling me, you've got to get enough sleep that's just as important to you as your workouts and your diet. You know, I'm going to bed at 1 and, and thinking, okay, if I really am going to get 7 to set, you know, 8 hours of sleep, that's my happy place is 7 to 8 hours of sleep, you know, I need to sleep in until 8 or 9. Then I wake up at 8 or 9, and the fact that I, I'm, I'm having to wake up that late and get that late of a start on the day, then I get up and I'm pissed and I'm behind, and it just keeps forwarding into the next day. So that has been a cycle that I have been really getting away from. So with the exception of last night, last night I, I worked all day, had a lot of appointments, and I kind of got into a groove with my, with my um, work last night, and I, I just really got into it. And um, I worked late, um, and I don't think, yeah, I was still going to, I was going to bed at one o'clock last night. Last night was an exception. I have gotten better and better um, at getting to bed earlier, so like ideally I'm going to bed by 10 now because then I can get up by 6. Um, the latest I've been getting to bed lately has been 11. And then I get up at 6.30, 7 o'clock. But I feel so much better when I get to bed early. And I will say this. <laughs> so I'm going to start using this tonight to track my sleep. It's supposed to, so it says, it nudges you awake with vibration. The included app tracks at the included app tracks sleep patterns and online dashboard shows you how to improve. Um, Bluetooth wireless technology works with your iPod touch, iPhone or iPad. Sleek band or soft band feels like wrist pajamas. I'm a little concerned about that statement, but whatever. Sure thing wristband goes off regardless of if your phone dies. So this is almost like your, um, your wake up call too. So I will let you know about this, but I will also say, God bless that new Techno Gel mattress that I have. Um, I told you guys before, when they delivered that bed, that blasted squirrels out there. When they delivered that bed, I, I thought, okay, it's gonna be nice. And I knew, because I'd had the Techno Gel pillow, that because it's, it's so cool, that it was gonna be really nice, especially in the hotter months. And you guys know, I need it cool to sleep anyway, and I need it cool all the time because I'm hot the time. Um, so I knew that was going to be nice, but when these two guys delivered it, it was so, like, it was so heavy, these two guys, I mean, it's like a 400 pound mattress because of the gel technology, right? <clears throat> so these two guys are, are delivering it and they, they're setting it up. My bed is so high to get up in, it's pretty, 
it's pretty amazing. I almost feel like I need a step ladder to get up in my bed. And I cannot put my finger on it. But I thought, okay, I'm going to like this and I'm going to talk about it and it's going to be great. But I kind of thought, it's just going to be a nice mattress. What's the big deal? I don't, and I would never, I would never exaggerate to this degree if it wasn't true. There's something about that bed where I literally sleep. I don't get up anymore in the middle of the night. I'm sleeping all the way through. Still have my issues getting to sleep. That's been kind of always been my issue. I sleep through the night. It is so comfortable. Um, I, I just, I can't even put my finger on what it is, but there's something about that bed that I really, I'm honestly gonna say that it, like, I know their tagline is get the best sleep you've ever had in your life. And I was like, seriously, it's a mattress. That's what I was thinking. It really is different than any, I, I can't describe it. I'm just saying I'm so rested. I'm getting in such a deep sleep. I don't want to get out of that bed in the morning. Like it's so hard I get out of the bed and I'm going to make my bed. I'm like, I'll be back lover. It's just really a nice, nice, nice mattress. Um, so all of you guys that have been asking, is it as nice as the Technogel pillows? Um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's 16 minutes into my vlog. I'm gonna have to wrap up with a few extra things here that are on my counter and then I'll do a separate vlog about the other stuff. I know you're excited. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. One of the other things, talking about scheduling, let's just make today's theme about scheduling time for what's important, right? Got all the stuff on my counter. As I've been <clears throat> transitioning into scheduling and planning, right? One of the things I realized is that, you know, everybody, I always see all of my friends on Instagram having great books, and I have all these great business books, and, and I have magazines stacked up that I never read. Again, because my whole day has been about reactive. You know, I, I run into bed at night, it's late, I'm exhausted, I have to get to bed, and then I'll look at, you know, a magazine or a book, I'm like, oh, I really feel like reading. But then I'm exhausted, I don't have time. And then it's four weeks later and I haven't ever had a time to sit down and read. Why? Because I'm not scheduling time for myself and it's not going to just appear to you. You're not going to have a block of time that's like, hey, I've got 45 minutes, here I am, I just found you, I want to give myself to you. Why don't you sit down and read? You have to find, figure out what it, the, the stuff that you want to do each day and you've got to find a way to schedule it. And for me, I realized that I haven't been reading. I don't even read my magazines. You know, I get like three episodes or three months later and I haven't read Runner's World from the summer because it's still sitting over there and I, when I sit down to watch TV it's like, do I want to watch TV or do I want to read a magazine? And I did get to the point too where I was even multitasking when I was watching TV. I'm sitting down watching TV with my iPad on and then reading a magazine as if, you know, let me squeeze through and get my, I should be able to enjoy a magazine. I like reading a magazine. Don't multitask your life away, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is give myself time where I schedule time to do some personal reading. So this would be magazines and personal reading, like a fun book, not a business book will be right before bed, okay? So that's gonna happen before bed and I'm scheduling that. In the morning, <clears throat> I've always got, you know, I have my coffee, I have my breakfast, I sit down either at my table or wherever, and I have my kind of like devotion book. So I read my, one of the books is called Meditations on the Mat. It's like yoga and kind of daily devotion. And then the other one is, um, I've got Joel Osteen or I have, um, Kristen Armstrong wrote a really good book. It's kind of like a Bible verse and like some um, inspirational thoughts each day. So I read that, I say my prayers, and I get ready for the day. After that, what I'm going to do is allow myself my personal slash personal growth um, half an hour of reading time. I'm going back and I'm reading one of my favorite books right now. This is all about success principles. Don't think that when you read a book that teaches you something, whether it's about fitness or running or personal growth, whatever, um, good habits, that you read it and, and it's done. You can always go back and learn things again and again, and quite often many of us need to. So this is what I'm going to be reading. I'm scheduling my time so that I have my, my quiet time, I say my prayers, and then I have, it might be 15 minutes. I might say I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to read in the morning. Schedule your time, and then... When I go into my office, um, that's when I'm going to give myself time to, I'm going to schedule my time to read my online news, 
but it's going to be timed. I'm going to set my bit timer if I have to time that. And then I'm also going to read part of my business books. So, you know, not an hour, not two hours. It might be 20 minutes that I give myself to read and then 40 minutes for the news. I haven't mapped that all out. I'm working on that today because I have no appointments. But this is also product placement. Um, my friend, E. Katerina Walter, who works at Intel, who's on my board of advisors, soft plug, just sent me, this is her brand new book. I'm, I'm actually very excited to read about this. So people, whatever you want in your day, you've got to schedule it. And furthermore, it's like with me with scheduling, did you hear that dog? For a second, it's like being back at my old condo. Can you hear that dog? Um, I'm going to have to go out and have a talk with someone because that's unacceptable. Anyway, whatever it is that you haven't been doing and you, when you recognize it, remember what I said in my video yesterday, call yourself out, recognize things that have gotten in your way and then find a way to fix it. With me, pretty much my analysis of my whole life ever since founding this company and really probably the year before that is that every day has been me doing this. Oh my God, what did I forget? I've got to go here. I've got to go. You know, it's, it's reactionary. Nothing has been planned. You can't live that way. You can't get in everything you need to get in every day when you're reactionary instead of proactive. You've got to be proactive. You've got to plan, 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 fail to plan, plan to fail. That's my new big thing. I saw it in place one day. It made such a huge difference and it's on people. Um, lastly, you might see that I have a new top here or new hat. Lorna Jane sent me a present, a holiday present, and I'm so excited. Quick mention, and I'll mention this again and maybe wear it in my next vlog. Gloves with a little zipper. I told her I needed gloves for wearing outside for running. How cool is that? And they both have a little zipper. See that? Lorna Jane, you guys, has some of the best clothes. And look how freaking cute this is. This, I don't know if you can tell this. The sweats. See, so there's sweats. It says Jane on the back. Um, so sweats with a little matching hoodie. I will tell you, all of Lorna Jane's stuff is really high quality. See the cute hoodie? And then on the back, it says that. So, I'm very excited to wear this very chic whatever you call it. I gotta go. 22 minutes. <laughs> My vlogs just keep getting longer and longer. And then it'll be about like an hour. No, that's horrible. But that could be an hour long workout for you guys that, that you write me and say that, you know, you, um, watch my videos while you work out. Lastly, I'd like to close with um, another thing I'm doing, which is updating my vision board. Things that motivate you. Yes, we will be going to the Hilton Bora Bora and I'm so freaking excited. Seriously. Okay, talk to you tomorrow.